All right, guys, welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this, and I hope it's helpful to you. I realize that uh, um, I was a little bit concerned that you guys might not remember how to do these types of problems. So this video is just to review this uh, that we've done in class before. So make sure that you have this uh, classwork that you should have from uh, picked up from the classroom. And then also this uh, summary of transformations. And let's go down to the bottom here of this and use our rules here to, uh, to do this. So this first one asks us to <coughs> uh, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you guys remember that a counterclockwise rotation is positive rotation. So our rule of transformation is this guy here. So we're going to put uh, opposite of y comma x. And I've actually not done. <laughs> I'm throwing this uh, video together very quickly. So I've not done this. So I may make some mistakes. Let's see. So rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Yeah, that's the good. And then about the origin. And then reflect over the line uh, y equals x. So here's your line y equals x, and here's the rule to do that. So y comma x goes up here. And uh, as you remember, uh, let's make this y prime and x prime, right? Because we don't want to pull this x, uh, or I guess it would be this y uh, here, but instead we want to pull this uh, y prime guy right there. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, take this uh, A, this point A, and run it through this first transformation. So I want the opposite of Y, opposite of Y. So the value of Y is negative 3. What is the opposite of negative 3? It's positive 3. So A is going to transform to A prime. So like I said, this is going to be positive 3. And now we want the... Uh, value of x. The value of x here is positive 5. So that's all I need to do. Just put down uh, positive 5. And then let's transform that into a double prime. And so this is asking for me to find a y prime. So again, here is your y prime. The value of y prime is 5. Oops, I leaned it too much there. And I guess I can make it all green. Let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> I remember what my <laughs> controls are here on my pad. It's been a while since I've used this. Okay, so this is a double prime. So I want the value of a y prime, which is 5. So I just put that in here. And then now I want the value of x prime, which is this guy here, which is 3. So put that in there. And I think that's it. That's all I'm asking you guys to do. So maybe the hardest part will be, I don't know, the uh, the rules. Um, but you have them all here available uh, for you. Uh, the next step is to plug in point B. So B is going to go to B prime and just do it in the same way that I did it uh, before. There you go. Nice, short, and sweet video. Uh, you guys can help each other to understand how to do it, but don't just copy and nor uh, do not allow someone just to copy your, your paper. And uh, at the end of the class, uh, please turn in this uh, assignment to the, the student or the, uh, the substitute teacher. And I'll put this back up here. How do I do that? Uh, like this, right? No. There it is. And let me line this back up again. So you can pause the video now. And if you want to copy those, you're welcome to do that. Okay, guys, we'll see you on Monday. Talk to you soon.